Hi, my name's Lockie. I'm a technical trainer at Endeavour Energy, and today we're going to do a construction video on the new three-way tappet switch that's currently being rolled out on our network. In the kit, you will find a three-way tappet link panel. You will find the activating links are already installed and should stay in this position until construction is completed. Three T-bar handles for our installation and extraction of links, a packet of twin-screw dovetail connectors, a perspex cover for the neutral, three perspex covers for each of the active phases, a packet of self-tapping screws, and a plastic bag for link storage. Also, you'll find a set of instructions. Before installing the pillar base, glove all three cables 350mm below ground line. After gloving the cables, bring your sets for your neutrals out first as the connectors are low and they may be difficult to terminate. Other crosses and sets should be taken out now as low as possible. After installing the pillar base, attach the mounting brackets through the D-bolt holes. After mounting the brackets securely to the base, the switch unit will be cradled inside the top of the brackets. Okay, with the three neutrals brought to the front, we're going to terminate these first. So measure from the top of the top of the block across, find the top measurement. This will be where we cut the cable. It should be stripped after that to a distance of 65 mil. So after marking the top of the connector, cut the cable. After backing out the grub screws for easier installation, you'll notice that the front of the connector on the neutral has been notched. This is to allow the connector to be installed halfway for easier installation. After getting the connector in position, with a 10mm hex driver and a torque wrench, tighten the screws to 50 newton meters. You can then install the earth. Either hole at the end of the neutral bar will be big enough to take a 70mm conductor. If there are no further services to install, you can put the Perspex cover over the neutral now. The most notable difference with the new unit is the phase colours are marked vertically, from red, white, blue. With the old unit, they were left to right. You'll see each row of connectors is set behind the row above it. So we're going to start by terminating our C-phase conductors first. Place the Perspex cover on now as installation will be extremely difficult after B-phase goes in. When installing the B-phase conductors, make sure you leave an adequate gap between the Perspex cover of C-phase below. So similar to the C-phase, cover the B-phase conductors with another Perspex sheet. After torquing the last connector to 50 newton meters, the final Perspex cover can be installed and then the legs removed. After removing the bolts, the support stands simply lift away. The second leg should come away just as easily as the first. You'll need these support brackets. Keep these as they are to be reused for further pillars. The links can now be withdrawn and put in their bag for later use. The operation of the link is exactly the same as all pr prior style tappet links by inserting a key, turning anti-clockwise and removing the link. Zip tie the bag through the available lug at the top of the unit, which is a new addition which now keep all the links dry. Lastly, we need to fill out the network info on the top. As you'll see, cable one goes to the left, cable two goes to the right, and cable three goes to the center. In network info, we have the labels of where each cable goes. Now the switch gear construction is complete and the links have been removed, it is now ready for the next steps. For further information, please contact the Technical Training Center at Endeavour Energy.